you have bills to pay, car to, to get, that vacation, that grace you want to go. You have a lot of things you plan to do, but you are really not working towards it. Why? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's so good to be here again. So today, I actually plan to come, you know, all glamorous and, you know, everything bright, big. I plan to come in on my Baba chair with my gilet above the roof and, you know, with my Agbada on top of the world. But somehow, somehow, my tail disappointed me and, yeah, I'm just here right now with this round neck shirt and, you know, yeah. That's just by the way. So today I'm going to be talking about how to exit your lazy girl era. In the beginning of the year, I think we all made plans. We all wrote down resolutions, out to this and that. I want to achieve this. I want to be able to do this. I have my goals, my aspiration and every other thing. And this is the second half of the year. So my question now is, how many of these goals have you achieved? Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to rush you, I'm not trying to pressurize you. I'm just here to ask the right questions. If everything is going as planned or if I should just mind my business. So if you have been planning all year, talking and not doing, putting in the actual work, then this is for you. I do not want you to keep being a sinner. Which is why I will be talking about things you can actually do to exit your lazy girl era. So the first thing is why? That is my first question. Like, why do you really want to achieve this thing? Why do you want to work on your goal? Why do you think you are not comfortable in the position that you are, that you have right now? Why do you want to make that change? I think these are the questions you should ask yourself and by asking yourself this question, you're able to get the right answer that you need. Like, what are your intentions? What are your plans? What are you trying to achieve? This is, I think this is the only thing that can prep your mindset, that can make you achieve these goals. And so you ask yourself this why question, then you might just write your goals down and not actually put in the work. So after asking yourself that question, this brings us to the second path, which is to start little, start small. If you have bigger goals, then I will advise you to put them into chunks to smaller goals. This way, you will not be overwhelmed. You know, be overwhelmed about your goals, about your plan. You take it one step at a time, baby steps. These are the things you need. Sometimes we just do not know where, where to start because the goals are so big and we do not just know how to go about it. So I believe if you break your goals into smaller chunks, this way it will be easier for you to, you know, take a step to start. Another thing you need to do to get to exit your physical error is to make sure you have a morning routine. Money matters a lot, like a whole lot. If you are someone like me that if I do not get my path done, I believe my money has not started. Even if I like, if I, if I've eaten, if I'm you know, if there are so many other things I'm doing, if I've not had my part yet, I just really believe mentally I'm not ready for the day. That is just what I believe in. So money matters a lot. You can start and establish a consistent routine for yourself. This way you'll be productive. It could be something really simple and short like brushing your teeth. So try and find something that will get you mentally prepared for the day and something you can hold on to that you can be very, very consistent with. It doesn't have to be 
or something really complicated or complex. It might be something as little as brushing your teeth, you know, or maybe doing yoga in the morning to improve your productivity, your creative thinking, and it's just going to change a whole lot. So just make sure you try it. Another thing is cleaning your room. Sometimes when you are in a very disorganized room, your creative thinking is just, you know, it's nowhere to be found. Something like cleaning your room, the cluttering can really get you prepared for the day. When you wake up in the morning, make your environment clean, make your environment tidy. You'll just be surprised by how much these things really matter in your day-to-day -day activities. So another thing is do not go to your phone first thing in the morning. Except your work is actually somehow centered around the use of phone, I would advise you to reduce your screen time. If you use your phone as to set alarm, put off your alarm and just forget about your phone. Forget distraction, shun distraction. You will be surprised by how much work you get to do when you leave your phone aside. These things sometimes can be the weapon fashioned against us. And I'm serious when I say this. But the moment you start shunning your phone, the moment you start reducing your screen time, this is the moment you really start making real changes in your life. Try this and watch you grow, watch you change, watch your plan becoming a reality, watch your goals becoming a reality. Another thing is set alarm. Have a consistent time you wake up. If you're into 9 to 5 job, if you're a 9 to 5 I think most of the time you're already practicing this because you need to get to work by 8, so you set alarm, you wake up at 7. But if you are not into any 9 to 5 job, set alarm for yourself. If it is 6.30, set alarm 6.30 every day. Waking up early gives you a good head start and trust me this is this is proven scientifically proven if you're someone that is into working out exercise exercise a day if it's just five minutes try and set your mind prepare yourself ahead mentally most of these things are not even physical preparation they are mostly mental preparation you need to prepare yourself mentally for the day and these things are going to change they're going to help you a lot you before you know it if you try this out in one month you are going to see tremendous changes in your lives in the things you do in you know your day-to-day -day activities and you're going to be fine. Another thing you can do is to use tools, use apps that can actually help you to make plans, to start your day, to track whatever it is you want to do, or create a list of what needs to be done and when they need to be done. You know, sometimes writing this list that will really help us because you you never know some might actually skip your mind so when you write them down it makes you to you know give them priority based on importance or how how quickly attention is needed on a particular task so it's good to write them down so it saves you a whole lot of stress and it makes you focus on the writing at a particular time time management apps like a bit tracker you can use something like notion to plan the things you really want to do to list to have a list of things you need to do in a day and you know you just follow it up try and follow it up try and break this work into priorities and see how this unfolds if you have not started using an app maybe you should start and you can download a bit tracker this is not a paid advert or anything like that. This is just 
one of the things I use to plan my day, to plan my work, and they've actually been working for me. So I just really believe if you try these out, it's really going to help you. These are just habits we need to inculcate just for us to be able to do the things we really want to do, to be able to achieve the things we plan to, yeah. So that would be all guys, let me know what you think in the comment section if there are other routines you put in your day to day activities that I didn't mention, you can put it down in the comment section to help other people. So that would be all guys, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Until next time, have a great day.